Hey guys, good morning. So I, I couldn't actually reach my audio box there for a second. I don't know what that was about, but I had something in front of it and I couldn't get behind it to uh, turn my, uh, unmute myself. Okay. And I seem to have lots of sunshine shining on my face today. I could probably close the blind, but I'll I'll leave it open for right now. It's winter and we need as much sunshine as we can get, can't, don't we? Um, okay, so I realized I hadn't done my video for um, In This Together um, scrapbooking workshop. So we are going to take a look at it because it's a big one and it's a little bit different. So it's been a while since I've done one this big and that's because um, there's, it's just a bigger collection, right? So there's more um, stuff in it. And um, so it creates a bigger workshop. So uh, In This Together is uh, one of the newest specials from Close to My Heart. And it has, um, for sure, you can use it to scrapbook um, the pandemic or you can use it just to scrapbook everyday life. I actually think it's super easy to switch it so that you could just scrapbook normal everyday occurrences if you don't want to scrapbook anything about the pandemic, which is totally understandable. Totally get it. But so I said about working on it. And so when I designed it, I kind of tried to design it so that you could um, switch it up, um, change it so that um, if you wanted to do other things with it, you totally could. Um, so we're going to walk through it. It is, a, like I said, it's a slightly larger workshop. So it's 12 scrapbooking um, pages, layouts, or six double page spreads. So um, I think I did a walkthrough of the product um, recently. So but I just wanted to say, so here, for example, obviously these are masks, but if you didn't want to use that side, you can flip it over and just use the um, clover uh, check side of the paper. And in almost every instance, you can do that. Um, so when we walk through the layouts, obviously they are a little bit more um, pandemic, uh, themed just because of the contents of the kit. But like I said, I totally think you could use the same um, workshop, hey Susan and Kathy, and switch it out and make it everyday life or spring um, just by switching out titles, flipping the paper over to the other side. The guide walks you through creating the 12, 12 by 12 pages. But like I said, you can always just flip that paper over and um, switch it up. So first thing we'll do is we'll talk about um, the supplies I use to create this workshop. So I used one package of the In This Together paper. So all double-sided paper, zip strips. Um, so there's a lot of paper in here because it's a little bit bigger pack. It's like twice the size of the, the packs in the um, two day, two day. That's what it feels like sometimes, but it's two month idea books. Um, and then I used the sticker sheet. And then I used the coordinating cardstock for this workshop. And so on um, the instructions, I've actually listed them out so that if people are trying to do it later, because um, they find they're in this together paper and they maybe didn't order the coordinating cardstock, just for it to say coordinating cardstock, sometimes people can't remember which they are. So I did um, list them out this time. So there's two white daisy, two grape, two sapphire, two lemonade, two clover, and two lagoon. And then there's nine extra pieces of white daisy cardstock. Um, I did use the In This Together dots because I love them. I'm so excited about dots. There might be more dots coming in the um, next idea book also. 
So these have the yellow and orange lagoon, um, the purple and the sapphire. So I use those and then I use the grape shimmer trim. And I'll show you all those things as we walk through. So those are the supplies that I use to create the workshop. So um, let's just see. So don't forget, there's a few ways to um, get this workshop. If you place a product order on my website, which is the Chris's, Chris Robertson, dot close to my heart dot ca and you spend $35 or more before taxes and shipping each $35 entitles you to a workshop guide so you can pick and choose what you want um, and then all the details about um, the purchasing the guide or how to get a copy of the guide are all on my blog at the chris's creative life dot blogspot dot ca so i'll show you what the files include so as you saw here, I walked through a supply list. Then um, we're gonna talk about this because there's bonus SVGs that I personally created for this workshop. Um, so I created three bonus um, SVGs that are attached to the workshop. Once you have them and you've uploaded them to whatever system you use, um, they're yours for good. And you can um, play with them, change the colors, use them again and again. Um, they belong to you. So there's just a little conversation about the bonus SVGs, um, how to get them, where to find them, how to upload them to Design Space, if you're not familiar with that. Um, there's general workshop um, tips that pretty much stay the same. If anybody's done my workshops before, they're kind of just a few things to keep in mind. And then um, some more uh, general processes of some ways to get super fast at using my workshops the background colors suggested photo sizes and then there's detailed instructions for each layout with a before photograph that um, people are finding very helpful because once the photo mats and all the embellishments get on the page sometimes it's kind of hard to tricky to figure out what goes where then there is the full um, color cutting guide that um, walks you through exactly where everything goes. Um, pretty easy and simple to follow. And then there is a cover sheet that just shows you all the pages together and then large photos with detailed photos of each of the layouts. So that's what's in the files. So let's take a look at the pages it creates. So for example, this is layout number one. And right away, we find one of the SVGs that I created. So it says, this is how we roll. And um, so it's got this fun font with like a nice shadow behind it. So it's all easy to um, cut for you. And so this is layout number one. And obviously this is all about the toilet paper. I'm sure somebody has some funny photographs to um, scrapbook about the toilet paper. I actually am just going, my puppy likes toilet paper. So that is what is going on. This layout is Emmy and her toilet paper escapades, not necessarily the pandemic shortage. Just one sec, I seem to have a funny shiny spot. Oh, that doesn't really help, but that's okay. Okay, so that's layout number one. And here is that fun grape shimmer trim, which is one of the new colors this year. And uh, it works perfectly with the In This Together. So uh, grab that if you don't have it. So that was layout number one. And here is layout number two, Stay Home. And as always, there's lots of room for photos. Um, they're very standard photo sizes, nothing super small, so you can see them all. If you have more photos, don't forget, you can always add flip flaps on all of your um, photo spots. So this one is stay home, currently hibernating. And this could just be for winter this year too. Also, I'm thinking as everybody has, um, been hit with snow lately and lots of winter this year. So then this is layout number three and this one says staycation and this is the second of the SVGs 
that um, I created. So super fun, nice bold uh, title and lots of little um, bits and pieces all over the place. Also, I don't really think, like I think you could totally scrapbook anything on here and nobody is really doing very much. So everybody's staying at home. So that is layout number three. And then this is layout number four. So we are all in this together and this one turned out super cute, nice and bright. And um, I love the spring color theme of this paper pack. It was super fun to work with the little rainbow zip strip along here. And again, that crepe shimmer trim just went perfectly with these pages. So that was number four. Number five is quarantine. And so it's on a white daisy background and um, the lagoon accents. You all know I love the lagoon. So uh, that was easy to uh, work into this workshop. Um, the little dots all over the place. I know the colors are great. Um, they're bright, but subtle. Um, so they feel like spring, but not like crazy bright. So super fun. That was layout number five. And then this one was layout number six. And this one, I think lots of people saw me post um, sneak peeks of this one. It's Let's Zoom. And I don't know about you, but over the course of the last year, we have Zoomed lots. Everybody has learned lots about Zoom for sure. Um, we did Easter Zooms, birthday Zooms, Christmas Zoom. Um, and I love this little sticker, Miss Your Face. So that is what I have to show you guys this morning. Tomorrow, you might see a sneak peek at something coming soon. Ah, the grape shimmer trim. I And it was actually not what I originally pulled out to use with this workshop. I actually pulled out because when before I start, I pull out a whole selection of um, different um, embellishments and supplies. And it's actually not the first thing that I pulled out. But I just, when I started to create it, I thought, hmm, I bet that would be great. And it, I love it. And it uses, with the six layouts, it actually uses, I believe, literally the whole roll of the grape shimmer trim. I actually wanted to see if I had um, enough left to pull on for to sh when I was showing you the supplies. And I realized I didn't, I don't have a scrap of it left. So it must have been enough that I was willing to throw it away. So now we're going backwards. So six, five, four, three, two, and back to number one. So that is what I have for you guys today. Did I finish my last sentence about sneak peek? So tomorrow I'll be posting a sneak peek of something coming soon. And um, yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or send me a personal message and um, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I hope everybody has a great day and I'm going to enjoy some sunshine in my office today. Talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.